Okay, I intend this to be a very quick um, introduction to how we now have OpenAI, the playground on youth voices and how to get to it. Um, you have probably heard of chat GPT. Um, there's also something called the um, OpenAI Playground which I recommend you go mess around with and look at. Um, not going to go in more detail here right now, but just want to point to that as a possibility. Looking at these examples here um, is a good idea. One of the ones that um, I use uh, in the uh, next video is keywords, for example. But um, worth saying that this is uh, kind of breaks it down in an interesting way and it uses the um, GPT-3 that um, the chat GPT uses as well. Okay, moving to Youth Voices. Once you are logged in and you are ready to create, let's say, or let's say you're even ready to um, edit something. I'm going to go here and we're going to edit this little piece here um, and we go to edit post could have gone to edit in a different way but, uh, let's do that and once the edit screen comes up in the upper right hand corner there's now a little icon that says AI Mojo you open that up and it brings the um, playground right to the student. Um, they can go right here and click this plus sign and they can insert whatever text they'd like. Let's say we chose this text. We open that where this block has now been highlighted. We can go here and pull that block into the um, playground, the, the box here, and then we can go down and say, you know, let's extract the keywords. All right, um, this was an intended to be a quick introduction. That's how you get there. Uh, you get your results here. You can also go and um, generate an image. All of that is available to for youth to do. Lots and lots of things they can do. Um, just want to show you that you first go to edit a document or go to, to create a document. And in the upper right hand corner, you will find an icon that says AI Mojo. You click that and it opens up for you. Worth mentioning, um, the image, for example, can be inserted right into the media library and then put into a featured image, or it can be inserted right here onto the document that you're working on. All right, um, that's the brief of it.